What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so, we're in Orberg Town, Orberg City, whatever you like to call it, and, uh, well, <clears throat> yes, it is finally time for us to take a nice tour of this whole place. As you guys probably remember, we took a nice 30 minute uh, video of trying to cover this whole place. As you guys can see, Barry has already beaten us to the punch, and uh, yeah, I kind of don't like this guy, I really don't. So, we're going to be taking a small tour of Orberg, and then after that, you know, getting our battle on, because, well, yeah, we kind of need a battle. As you guys can see, Rourke is our town's gym leader. He may be young, but he keeps his mind running as safely and efficiently. That's a boss right there. That is a boss. And, well, Rourke is a user of Rock-type Pokemon. Don't you think Rock-type Pokemon are nice? I like how lumpy they are. Hmm. Lumpy. I used to be called that when my parents shaved my head. Don't know why, but still, it's a nice nickname if you're a kid or something like that. Anywho, so let's see, what else? Uh, I'm looking around here and I just, I kind of want to, uh, yeah, I, 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 I kind of want to like look for some rare items right here and see. Oh yeah, if you talk to this person, you can trade an Abra or you can trade a Machop for an Abra. And uh, it's not that far to find uh, a Machop. You can actually go north of Orberg in order to get a, an Abra. That right there will enable you to actually, what was it called, uh, in, enable you to actually grow the Abra quicker uh, to like Kadabra and all that stuff. But unfortunately, yes, we can't really trade Pokemon here. Nine two. well, I, mean, I got a little something special cooking for you guys. I may or may not be playing or along in uh, some kind of a universe. I may or may not be playing Pokemon Platinum on the 3DS. I'm keeping up with it because I got some plans later on right here. And well, as you guys can see, my favorite Pokemon ability is Pachirisu's Pickup. My darling Pickup picks up dropped items without me noticing. That is a very good one. Okay, so let's go right ahead and talk to this guy right here. And let's see, the view is good from the second floor, but it's a uh, pain going on outside. If you don't mind, how about you show me a Pokemon called Geodude? That is, uh, okay, that, that right there is going to be easy for us because, well, Geodudes are going to be coming up pretty soon right here. So, let's go right ahead and walk our way through. As you guys can see, you know, walking is just, it's just the pain. It, the pace is just ridiculous. Okay, so let's see. Talk to this person. Rourke lets us train our Pokemon in our mind. Okay, so let's see. How about this person? The gym leader isn't like any other trainer you meet. Obviously, they're a lot tougher, a lot, and it takes as many Pokemon as possible if I were you. Okay. I do have two Pokemon that might not survive. There are eight gym leaders in the Sinnoh region. The objective for the trainer is to get gym badges from all of them. That means that you have to defeat all of the you have to defeat all of them in battles in their gyms. That is so dang true. And well, let's see. Let's go ahead and talk to this person. Are you catching Pokemon? Here, take this if you'd like, and we get ourselves a Dusk Ball. If you guys don't know, Dusk Balls are very effective at night and in caves. And, well, this guy's like, giving nicknames to Pokemon is uh, the way to go. It makes you feel like you, as if they're your very own. That is true. I started doing that when we started doing this whole thing right here. Anywho, let's go right ahead and continue on with uh, Orberg and all that stuff. And look at this, I am getting a phone call. I will be right back with you guys. All right, we're back, baby. So let's go right ahead and speed through this. Well, actually run through this and all that stuff. Now, in Orberg City, you'll be able to find a museum right here. And just like many museums, this is the place to actually revive fossil Pokemon. Now, going north of Orberg, you're going to be going straight into Route 207. And you'll be finding to yourself some pretty interesting Pokemon. One of them is a Machop. And here we have Ponyta. So, I've been meaning to do this, mainly because, well, yeah, you, just, you know, we kind of need one for just right now and all that stuff. But yes, I am going to try and capture myself a Ponyta right here. And yes, I know, I'm going against the whole uh, getting the regional Pokemon. Yes, I do know that Ponyta's not really that, that, that Pokemon. And yeah, we're getting our butts kicked. Holy crud, Ponyta just beat the crud out of us. Okay, so let's go with Electro Star right here. And... Patience, guys. Patience. I'm just saying this. The only reason we're getting Ponyta is for strategic purposes. And that, right there, we're going to eventually, you know, we're eventually going to switch up our Pokemon here and there and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and throw a Pokeball at this guy. So here it is. Pokeball, go. And there's one. There is two. And there is three. Holy buckets. We cut ourselves a Ponyta. I've always wanted to try out a Ponyta don't know why 
but, there's a big butt right there, here it is, Ponyta, the fire horse Pokemon. As a newborn, it can barely stand, however, through galloping, its legs are made tougher and strong, or faster. So, what's going to happen here is we're going to have to come up with a nickname, so I'll be right back with you guys when we find that nickname. Okay, so here we are, guys. And take a look at this at our newest Pokemon. We have named it Blaze because, well, you know, how appropriate is it by naming a Pokemon or a Ponyta Blaze? It literally looks like Blaze and all that stuff. So, yes, for the time being, we're going to have Ponyta on our team just because, well, we kind of need to do some stuff and all that crud. And we're going to be grabbing ourselves a Pokeball, which is great. It is awesome right here. And the other thing, too, is we're going to be, be we're gonna be getting a, an, into another battle. And as you guys can see, here we have Geodude. So what I'm going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to fast forward by capturing some Pokemon that are needed. And then after that, you know, we'll be right back with you guys, all right? Okay, guys, so here we are back. And we captured the two Pokemon that we kind of wanted to capture. And that is both uh, Geodude and Machop, obviously. Both Pokemon, I kind of need to show and then trade, and well, of course, Ponyta's being a, you know what. And, well, let's let's see what, we, what else we can actually find right here, and there's really nothing. Okay, so, the other part too here is that you really, like, you can't go through here because obviously you need a bike. This guy's like, the slope is too slippery, you'll need a bike to get up. You don't have a bicycle. There's a shop in Eterna City, that is true. So, let's go right ahead and go back to Orberg City and then talk to these two individuals that will probably hook us up with some Pokemon and all that stuff. And maybe an item. That, that, that usually be pretty good. So, let's see. I think it's this guy. And yes, we do have a Pokemon named Machop. So, let's go right ahead and trade that Machop. So, here it is, guys. An in in-game trade. We're going with Machop. And it's going to be traded all the way to this person's Pokemon game. And look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. And look at the graphics. Holy buckets. Okay. Alrighty. And yes, we are appearing and... Well, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Here we're getting Abra. And, well, I would love to use Abra in this, in this game right here. But the thing is that, you know, that's not really in the plans. Obviously, we're going to be getting... You know, Ultra Psycho back from, you know, whatever version we have him on. And here it is, Kaza. Or, yeah, Kaz is right there. Okay, so Kaz is right here, and be nice to my Abra, and I will look after... Okay, so let's go right ahead and take a look at Kaza right here at level 5. Obviously, when you trade a Pokemon, it will match the level that you have for the, the Pokemon that you trade it for. As you guys can see, we get ourselves a Link Trade, and it has the ability Synchronize, which passes on a Burn, pa Poison, or Paralysis on the foe, and it does have quite a few things right there. Now, it does have an Oran Berry, which we will take right here. Now, the next part that we need to do is we need to go straight to the guy that needs to look at a uh, Geodude. So let's go right ahead and see this. He's good. Okay, you don't mind showing me a Geodude? And yes, we have a Geodude. Wow, that's so cute. It's so cute. That does it. I'll go out and catch some Pokemon too. Thank you, my friend. Here's a token of his thanks. And he is going to be giving us a Heal Ball, which, well, as many of you guys already know, you capture a Pokemon, it will automatically heal it after being captured. So... Let's see, what is the next thing we need to do? Yes, we need to go straight into the Orberg Mine, so I'll be right back with you guys. We're going to be putting some Pokemon away into the PC. Alrighty, so here we go, guys. Let's go straight to the Orberg Mine. Now, the next place here is, well, a mining, a mining town, and you're going to be finding some Pokeballs, some stuff, and yes, look at this. Pokeball right here. Found ourselves a Dire Hit, which is uh, obviously a very good item to have early on right here in this game, and here we're getting a Yellow Shard, which... Shards are going to be pretty big around here, mainly to trade, get some elemental stones, you know, that, that, that whole shebang right there. And then if you go right here, let's see, you're going to be finding a house, and you're going to be finding this miner, and he's going to be like, you're taking a tour of our coal mine? Wonderful, that's excellent of you. It's always good to learn about new things and broaden your horizons. That is pretty much it. I do not feel anything, and well, let's see, what ends up happening? Um... Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Okay, don't know how that happened. So, let's continue on right here. And I think there might be a hidden item here somewhere. Now, if you go down this gap... Let's see, if you talk to this guy, there's no question. Yes. Here, take these. And he's going to be giving us some po uh, super potions. And, yes. Okay, so that right there, super potions are always nice. Now, 
I kind of feel like there might be a hidden item right here somewhere, which is not. Okay, so first thing is first. I do not want to deal with these Pokemon, so I'm going to go grab myself some uh, repels if we can get some repels. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so unfortunately we can't buy any repels until we defeat the gym leader, I believe. So here we are in the Orber Mine. And yes, we're going to be battling a crap ton of trainers and Pokemon. And this is definitely not the place for our good old buddy Starblade to be at. So let's go right ahead and switch it out to Poseidon because this is the yeah, this is the place where you can actually use this Pokemon. And well, here we get ourselves a Pokeball, which is always nice. And well, let's go ahead and speed through this and start battling everybody. You know, a little training never really hurts. Okay. Let's go right ahead and go up here, talk to this guy. Everyone that works in the coal mine keeps their Pokemon with them. You may be challenged to battles, ha ha ha. And, well, let's see. I found that... I found what I thought were some rocks. Then they started moving. They were Pokemon, and that looked like just like rocks. Okay, so she must be talking about Geodudes right there. So, it's speeding it up, and look at this. We're fighting against an Onix. Now, this Pokemon right here is just a tank. As you guys can see, it survives. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do what anybody would do. Capture this Pokemon, and just like that, we caught ourselves Onix. And, I know what you guys are thinking... Name it Serpentera. We're not going to name this one Serpentera. But as you guys can see, Onyx, the Rock Snake Pokemon, both rock and ground. It burrows through the ground at a speed of 50 miles per hour while feeding on large boulders. It's pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Okay, so let's uh, move on ahead. Yes, we're going to be capturing, we're going to be battling, collecting some Pokemon for our collection. And, well, in the meantime, Poseidon is just going to be kicking the butt. And look at this. Level 13. Yes, it's always nice, and well, here we are in the Orber Mine, and well, we're going to be challenged by a few trainers, so might as well just keep on looking around here, and well, here we have Zubats. We could always capture Zubats and all that stuff, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to capture a Zubat, and there we go. We got ourselves a Zubat, and well, let's go ahead and call this guy uh, Toxic Batman, because well, that's a pretty cool name. Let's see, Toxy. there we go. Batman, that's right. Not b -b Batman. Yes. Okay, so yeah, we're capturing some Pokemon right here, guys. I know. Batman. There we go. Talk to Batman. Alright, let's move on. Let's go right ahead and continue our battles right here. I'm at these uh, I'm at this mod shop at Route 207. They now become my most trusted partners. Okay, that's pretty cool. Awesome. And if you talk to this guy, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. It's like my Pokemon to work. Isn't that what they're supposed to do? I'm, I, I, I don't even know. Okay, so here we are taking on Worker Mason. And, well, let's go with the Bubbly Beam. And just like that, we get some more points. We're obviously kicking some butt, taking some names. Grab this, and we're getting ourselves another potion. And, well, let's see. Battling another Pokemon. And look at this, another Onix. And just like that, we get some more points. So, yes, we do know where to battle. Now, here is our good old buddy, Rourke. And we're going to get attacked by another Pokemon. So, let's go straight for a bubble attack. And there it is. Poseidon grows to level 14. So, what we're going to do now is battle some more Pokemon. Tra Pokemon. And, well, look at this. Level 9 Onix. Yes, we're just... Yeah, we're, we're literally just making this Pokemon look legit. Anywho, let's see. Nobody right there. And well, let's go. Let's go. To, let's go ahead and defeat some Pokemon right here. And as you guys can see, Poseidon is kicking butt, taking names. Talk to this guy. Fine, alrighty then. Just a quick battle on my break. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty. So let's go right ahead and take on Worker Colin, and he is coming out with his Geo Dude. So let's go straight to Poseidon right here. And speed this through. Bubbly attack. And here comes a Machop. And, well, there we go. Machop is getting the Bubbly attack. And here we go again. And just like that, we have defeated uh, we have defeated this guy. So, let's go right ahead and talk to Rourke. And as you guys can see, he's looking around. He's just like, okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move, Rock Smash. A boulder blocking your way. Fallen boulders need to be smashed, so they are uh, uh, they are out of the way. If you could get the badge from the uh, the gym in the town, you'd be able to do so. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. Okay, alrighty. So what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna be training our Pokemon off screen. 
most of our Pokemon. And from there, we're going to be going straight into the first gym battle. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are, ready to go. And uh, we trained our Pokemon up just a tad bit. As you, as you guys probably already can tell, yes. Uh, yeah. We left Blaze behind because, well, that Pokemon won't be... It won't be getting used until we get into the next or so the second gym badge and all that stuff. So after going into the Orbert Mine, you're gonna be going inside the Pokemon Gym, and as you guys can see, we're gonna be getting ready for a battle. Now the only man that's ever believed in this has followed us here, and he's like, "Howdy, how's it going, Jim?" To be, that's what I said uh, to a really impatient boy earlier too. The gym leader is a user of rock type Pokemon. Well, listen, rock type Pokemon really hate water, all right? They're also weak against grass type moves. Gee, they sure have weaknesses, but don't think it will be easy. You don't get uh, you don't get to be the gym leader without covering weaknesses. Going after a rock type Pokemon with a fire type Pokemon won't be easy either. That's all the advice I can give. Uh, I can give. Thanks for listening. Okay. So part of that advice is we're going to be going up against this guy with our Piplup because we trained it all the way to level 15. So that's pretty awesome right there. So here we go, taking on youngster Jonathan. And he will be coming out with his Geodude. And, well, let's go with Poseidon right here. Go with the bubbly attack. And yes, off screen, we did teach this, or it did learn Peck attack. So that right there is a big, big help for us. And look at that. That's right, bam. Poseidon grows to level 16. We guys, we already know what this, what's going to happen right here. That's right. Now I understand why you decided to battle me. Well, because I, I want all the smoke. I want it all. So here it is, guys. Poseidon is finally evolving. After, what, two, three episodes, we finally achieved this. Pretty awesome. Look at that. This Pokemon is just kicking butt, taking names. And just like that, Poseidon is now a Primplup. This is a pretty awesome Pokemon, even though it's a little slow and all that stuff. And well, as you guys can see, it is learning Metal Claw. That right there is a big plus. And well, right now, like it's still a Water type. Eventually, it will be a Steel type. And as you guys can see, the foe is raked with uh, is raked with the Steel Claws. It um it may also raise the user stat attack or attack stat. And well. We're gonna go with a growl right here because, well, we kinda need to. And, well, there it is. A growl attack, and just like that, Metal Claw is with us. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and continue our little adventure right here. Now, before we do anything, let's go ahead and take a look at Poseidon. So, as you guys can see right here, Poseidon, the water type Pokemon. Yes. Has Torrent, powers up water type moves, ability, and all that stuff. It does have some pretty good defenses. Its special attack is pretty good. Eventually, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna give this Pokemon just like, you know, more special attacks than anything. So, let's go right ahead and take on this individual right here. And only those who want to win can challenge the Pokemon Gym. Really? Okay, so here we go, taking on Darius, and this guy is going to be coming out with a Geodude. So, let's go right ahead and use good old Poseidon. Now that we got two moves that can actually work, look at this. Metal Claw for the win. Oh, well, it's not that win. Now, as many of you guys already know, Poseidon is a, is a special attacker, so I've learned my lesson. So, here we go, Bubbly Attack. Le Bubbly Attack. Finishes off this Geodude, and just like that, we win. Okay, alrighty, Poseidon, kicking butt, taking names, and... Well, this guy wants to come out with an Onyx, so let's continue. Let's overpower Poseidon a little. So there you go, let's... What's up, Onyx? How's it going? And here we go with a bubbly attack. And, well, just like that, Onyx has been defeated, and, well, that right there gives us a little bit more experience points. Darius has been defeated, so okay. Bring on the next individual. This guy. Okay, so here is the Orberg Gym or the Orberg City Gym Leader. His name is Rourke. He is the gym leader. But I'm one, I'm one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock Type Pokemon. As a gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And I'll need to see the toughness of your Pokemon with a battle with you. Okay. Alrighty. So, here we are, guys. Gym battle number one against Leader Rourke. 
He does have three Pokemon and the usual three are all rock type Pokemon and all that stuff. So the best way to defeat these guys, grass or water type Pokemon. Luckily for us, we have Poseidon with us. And uh, Poseidon's going to be just messing everybody up. Look at that. One hit, KO. That's right. How's it feel to fail? Okay, and look at this. Poseidon grows to level 17. And the next Pokemon is going to be coming out is Onix. So as you guys already know, Onix is a pretty, pretty strong Pokemon. But, you know, Poseidon can actually do it. Yeah, look at that. Poseidon, kicking butt, taking names. Onix, you have been defeated. Okay, alrighty. And just like that, we're going to be going up against a fossil Pokemon, Cranidos. I think I remember in what? The... Yeah, in the anime, Cranidos actually evolves. So, here we are taking on Cranidos, and he's using his Mold Breaker. So, here we go with Le Bubbly Attack. And... That nearly defeats this Pokemon, and here comes a Leer Attack. Now, this is... This right here is a little... A little scary because, well, yes, Cranidos does have a huge attack, and that right there defeats Cranidos. So, yes, we sweep with Poseidon, and Poseidon grows to level 18, and just like that, we win our first badge. What? My buffed up Pokemon, yes. Your buffed up Pokemon have been defeated. He's like, this is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who, who didn't have a single gym badge, but that's tough. You were strong, and I was weak. That's all there is. According to the Pokemon League rules, I have to give you the gym badge. Since you beat me, the leader, here's your official Pokemon League Cole badge. And there it is, guys, throwing out the peace sign. We got our first badge. That's pretty awesome. Pretty great. So, having that Cole badge means that your Pokemon can now use the hidden move Rock Smash outside of battle. You can also take this, too. And, well, here it is, guys. We got ourselves the TM76 Stealth Rock. It's a move that inflicts on the foes that switch into battle. Incidentally, the TM will teach its move to the Pokemon instantly, but the TM will break once you use it. So make, make certain that you want a Pokemon to learn that move. In this region of Sinnoh, there are seven other gym leaders. I should warn you, they're a lot tougher than I am. You wanna bet? So there it is, guys, our first battle. We have won, and well, we're gonna we're gonna pause it right here. In the next episode, we're gonna be going into the next town, battling, getting some more stuff, and uh, doing some more stuff and all that stuff. Yes. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for enjoying this episode. Being patient as always. If you guys wanna buy some merch, I do have an official merch uh, website. That way you guys can you know wear the GLD logo proudly and all that stuff. Other than that, guys. I'll see you guys in the next episode as we continue our adventure right here in Sinnoh. See you guys.